KOR to Sports here with Abel Sanchez. Uh, coming off the, the weekend, man, great victory against uh, Danny Jacobs. Uh, tell us about it, man. T tell us w what you thought about his performance. Tell us about the whole night. You know what? I I, uh, I think that we have to commend Danny and his team. Uh, Andre was here and his team, uh, they prepared him very well. We had a great fight for the fans. And now it's on to the next one. Uh, we got a W. Uh, tough, difficult fight. But we won it. Uh, I thought it was a little further apart, but uh, we still had all three judges going our way. So now it's on to hopefully we fight in June. Uh, Jim Lampley said afterwards he saw you run up to Jacobs, give him a hug. You were like really excited at the end of the fight. Why, why did you embrace Jacobs like that at the end of the fight? I was very happy for Danny. You know, uh, you have to respect the man that has gone through what he's gone through and persevered and, and has been a man about it. Uh, his character to me is the kind of people that I want to I want to know. That's the kind of uh, that's the kind of people I want to I want involved in this game. I really felt that um, he fought his heart out. He had the opportunity of his lifetime, and, and he and he did everything necessary to go the not only to go to 12 rounds but to be very competitive. And I think very soon. Uh, actually, as soon as Golovkin vacates these titles and moves on to 68, he'll definitely be a world champion. And he's going to be one that's going to have to be reckoned with. He's going to be one of the dominant ones. You just said vacate the title. Is that the plan to move to 168? Or? Oh, absolutely. Once he wins the four belts, there's no reason for him to stay there. If that fight with Billy Joe Saunders gets made, which they're talking about making in June, uh, then he, his intentions are to move up. Uh, because he's done what he, wanted, what he set out to accomplish at 160. Uh, he will have... Uh, done the only thing that uh, the last guy to do it was Bernard Hopkins and he wants to be uh, the next one to do it which would be the unified champion so if it happens in June and he's more successful in June then I think uh, if the uh, the redhead doesn't want to get in the ring with him then uh, it'll be up to 168. So, so that is the, the only guy right now on the radar is Billy Joe Saunders to complete the, the four belts and clear out the division? That's, that's the main goal right now, yes. If uh, they're able to come up with uh, an agreement that, um, that Gennady likes uh, to fight the redhead, then we'll fight the redhead. But if not, then we can go, we can go on to 168. We're, uh, Canelo's not a, somebody that we're looking for. If, if not Saunders in June, then what? I mean, do you guys take another fight at 168 or take care of a mandatory and see what happens in September? No, he wants to fight in June. He wants to fight four times this year. So if uh, Toronto Johnson is successful tonight, uh, if it's not Saunders, it could be Toronto Johnson. It's, it's the guys that are at the top of the list in, in the organizations that we have to go after because uh, that way it gets mandatories out of the way. That way it gets things out of the way so that it, if a big fight happens or is able to happen, then they're not in the way. There was uh, criticism. I heard boxing fans, you know, they've become so used to a Triple G just, you know, knocking guys out, letting guys hit them. But he was in a fight. He was in a tough fight. And it's I, I feel credit to Jacobs. But the unfortunate thing, when people criticize, they're demeaning the, the, the great job that Jacobs did. I think it was a great fight between the two best middleweights in the world. And Jacobs came prepared. Uh, Jacobs gave his heart out, uh, or fought his heart out, I should say. And uh, Golovkin got the W. It wasn't something that was controversial. He knocked him down. We still won by two points on two cards. So it's not something that I think was uh, debatable. Do you feel it's, because Jacobs is a really big guy, do you feel that moving up to 168, G might, the, the knockout ratio might go a little lower because these guys are a lot bigger and he has issues with that maybe? That may be the case, but uh, as a fight fan, if I'm, on, if, if I'm a fight fan sitting outside, that's what I want to see. I want to see a guy that comes to fight. Uh, comes to throw down and if the guys are bigger and they can take it better for us as fans you know we got a better fight is there someone specifically at 168 i mean i know top rank and and zuzo have been kind of pushing that they want the triple g fight if he moves up is there someone specific you're looking at 168 to start going after uh, nobody in particular but uh Zuzo has made comments that he wants to fight him so i'm sure that tom Lawford gets uh, gets along uh, actually he gets along very well with bob uh well he gets along with all the promoters but uh, Surdo is the guy that's been more boisterous, so maybe it, 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 uh, there's a possibility, but uh, it, I would love to see him try to unify the 68-pound division also as he did the 60. But uh, one fight at a time, uh, one date at a time, hopefully for June, so we'll see who, who it is in June. What was Gennady's reaction after the fight? I mean, he hadn't gone the distance in 23 fights. What, what was his reaction to after? Uh, his reaction was that he needed that, uh, that uh, eventually we're going to move up uh, to a different weight where they're going to be bigger and be able to take that, uh, take the punch, let's just say. Uh, so it's it's beneficial to be able to, to know in his mind that he can go 12 and it's not a problem. He was strong at 12, 
Uh, he was able to do the things that he wanted to do in the 12th round, so I think that mentally it helps these guys to know that they can. Even though they're, they, they know they're great fighters, it's difficult uh, when you've never done it to do it once, you know? What was it like for you? Because I know you've been waiting to kind of ha have get Kennedy to get that like big test for him to kind of prove himself. You've known it, obviously, this whole time, but to kind of show boxing fans, look, he can fight bigger guys, he can fight the best, this guy's the best, and we still did it. I think that this was a, a, a good test, but I think it's because Danny... Danny, Daniel Jacobs, going through what he went through, is going to be a different kind of a, a, a different kind of fighter than we're going to get in the future at 160. Daniel Jacobs had nothing to, nothing to lose. I mean, he's beaten death. I mean, so so that right there, I think that that motivation right there was a, a, a big factor in why Danny was able to hang around as long as he did. But you know what? If we can get fights like that, I don't care if they're all decisions. If we can get fights like that and the fans get their money's worth and they get a great fight, you know that Gennady only knows how to fight one way. So they're going to get, the, if the other guy wants to fight, it's going to be a great fight. So we're going to be entertained. With G's last two performances, obviously uh, against Kel Brook, he got hit a little bit. You know, people thought that, you know, and he fought way differently than we're used to seeing him kind of street fight, like he said. Uh, this fight went to decision. G People have said, like, maybe he's sliding a little bit, which might be a good thing for you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, again, uh, I'll say it again. Uh, that's just demeaning what Danny Jacobs did. That's just putting him down. So it'd be, it'd be crazy for me to even suggest that, that, that because then that's just saying that Danny Jacobs uh, is not that good. He's a very good fighter. Okay, so there was two guys in there. There was two guys in there. Yeah. Is it, but is it good, though? Because, I mean, people are saying that, so maybe people want to fight G finals. Well... If they stop talking and, and sign a contract, Tom Loeffler is available. Uh, it's just a matter of these guys, instead of getting on Facebook or Twitter, call Tom Loeffler. 